I was watching Around the Horn this afternoon on ESPN, and they opened the show with the tragedy that took place at Arrowhead Stadium this past Saturday. So, without further ado, here are my overall thoughts on the NFL tragedy in Kansas City. On December 1, 2012, linebacker Yvonne Belcher of the Kansas City Chiefs took his own life in the parking lot of the team's home field after murdering his 22-year-old girlfriend, Cassandra Perkins. He was 25 years old. The couple had a three-year-old child together, and NBC Sports also reported that Belcher pulled the trigger on Perkins right in front of her mother. The mother was unheard as she called 911. As the police arrived to Arrowhead, Belcher pulled the trigger on himself. It was also reported that unnamed members of the chief staff also witnessed the shooting. The game went on as scheduled, as the Chiefs went on to defeat Cam Newton and the Carolina Panthers, 27-21. to Should the Kansas City Chiefs have played the game on Sunday? These are my thoughts. The entire Kansas City Chiefs family, whether it be its players, its coaches, its staff, every one of them, were all hurting on Sunday. I feel that one of two things could have happened. There could have been a team meeting, which I'm sure there probably was between both the Chiefs and the NFL administrators, to discuss if the players were up to playing the game. The other ideal option that I believe could have happened was rescheduling the game to the final week of the season, like when the NASCAR Sprint Cup Series did with their second New Hampshire race in 2001. When I think of this, the first two things that I think of are the two horrible tragedies that took place in World Wrestling Entertainment in both 1999 and 2007. Those tragedies were the deaths of both Owen Hart and Chris Benoit. Now I can go on and on if I wanted to about how wrong it was for WWE to continue that pay-per-view the night that Owen died, but I want to talk about Chris Benoit. The tragedy in Kansas City this past weekend is very similar to the one that took place with the Benoit family in 2007. Chris Benoit took the life of his wife Nancy and his son Daniel after suffocating them both. There was a three-hour tribute show, the money following Benoit's death, in dedication to his memory. But after discovering what his cause of death was, the organization made the decision never to speak of Mr. Benoit's name ever again. Should the NFL do the same thing to Mr. Belcher? I think that it was the right thing to do on Sunday to remember the victims of this tragedy. But Yvonne Belcher's legacy will forever be tarnished now that he has committed this heinous act. I would like to end this video with a statement that was made to the media when Sunday's game was over. These are words that I feel we should all study, remember, and use in our everyday lives. In the post-game press conference, Chiefs quarterback Brady Quinn made an eloquent and heartfelt statement that I certainly will never forget. He said, and I quote, The one thing people can hopefully try to take away, I guess, is the relationships they have with people. I know when it happened, I was sitting and, in my head, thinking what I could have done differently. When you ask someone how they are doing, do you really mean it? When you answer someone back how you are doing, are you really telling the truth? We live in a society of social networks, with Twitter pages and Facebook, and that's fine. But we have contact with our work associates, our family, our friends, and it seems like half the time we are more preoccupied with our phone and other things going on instead of actual relationships that we have right in front of us. Hopefully, people can learn from this and try to actually help if someone is battling something deeper on the inside than what they are revealing on a day-to-day -day basis.